Hey guys, what is up? This is Matthew Davis, me once again. Welcome back to another video game review. Happy New Year, everybody. It's finally over. 2020 is over. Let's not get our hopes up. That vaccine isn't out yet, but hopefully uh, when it does come out, things will start getting a little bit better. But for now, let's talk about a video game. Next up is my review for Spider-Man Miles Morales for the PS5 and PS4, but I played it on PS5. So Spider-Man Miles Morales is the sequel to the critically acclaimed uh, Spider-Man game released for the PS4 by Insomniac Games back in 2018. I have a review for that game on my channel if you want to check it out. And this is a launch title for the PS5, like I mentioned before. Like the title suggests you play as Miles Morales in this game uh, as he takes over to protect New York City from crime while Peter Parker is on vacation with Mary Jane in Europe. While protecting the city, he has a friend named Finn who's kind of been hiding a secret from him for a while, and things start to change once he uncovers uh, her secret. Now, I know I'm really late on reviewing this game, mostly because I wanted to wait till I got the PS5 to play this game. I could have gotten it for a PS4, but come on, that kind of sounds criminal if you ask me. Also, I took even longer once I got the game, mainly because I wanted to platinum the game, meaning I had to play through the game twice, which I did, and I got my very first platinum trophy. I never platinumed a game before, but I can say, definitely worth it. Now, one of the biggest things to complain about this game is the fact that it's way shorter than the first game. Though the price for PS4 owners is 50 bucks, I'm not sure if it's the same price for the PS5 version, but it is worth it for 70 bucks if you do get the Deluxe Launch Edition, which includes a remaster of uh, the first game in, in PS5. So, yeah, I can say that was definitely worth it, but hey, I got this as a Christmas present, so it didn't, didn't really matter for me. Now, I had quite a bit of fun with this game. I had a lot of fun playing as Miles Morales. Unlike Peter, you have a lot more powers in this game. Like, you have, like, these Venom powers, which you can use to, like, pound enemies with electric moves. It was a lot of fun to do, okay? Like, they're, they're, you can just, like, Venom pound and, and stuff like that. And that that's basically uh, the biggest uh, power you get in this game. And there's also camouflage, where you can go invisible, making it harder for enemies to track you, which makes the game feel kind of a bit broken, as once you go invisible, they won't be able to spot you if you move around a lot more. They, it's basically makes stealth kind of a walk in the park, unlike in the first game. There's also a lot of really cool suits to unlock, though my least favorite ones kind of have to be the ones with the hoods, as uh, they don't really make me feel like Spider-Man too much. It just makes me feel like a teenager and with a hoodie on. Now, the story takes around like six to eight hours to beat. Um, there's also stuff to unlock and some side missions to do, which might take around like four hours to fully finish. And for the most part, they were fun doing. You know, they add in, they actually do have somewhat kind of purposes. I mean, you can, you can do some of them to unlock suits and stuff, but honestly, there's surprisingly some good depth to some of the characters in some of the side missions, which I, I was really surprised with. Of course, they don't last too long since sure, since the missions last don't last very long, but hey, I really enjoy doing the missions, surprisingly. Now, one thing that is a bit weird is the graphics option. You can play the game in 30 FPS with better textures or 60 FPS with not as good textures. Though, honestly, to me, it still looks great in um, the 60 FPS mode, which is, that's the version I played out throughout my entire experience, even while playing on New Game Plus. Now, I gotta say, I really like the introduction to some of these characters that they put into the game, like Miles' uncle, who we learn more about later down the line. It's just really a shame that uh, it could have been so much longer, but it really wasn't. Like, I really wish it could have been so we could learn more about him along with everybody else that was new in, in this game. Uh, probably why the story wasn't as interesting as in the first game. But what really saves this game for me is the new powers and the gameplay. It's still a lot of fun playing as Spider-Man, whether it's Peter Parker and my, or Miles Morales. The world might not be as large, but it's still lots of fun swinging around and, uh, and exploring uh, what there is to explore, though it's not quite as big as in the first game. It's like half the map as in the first game, but it's still lots of fun. Also, I could easily give this game a perfect score just for the fact that Miles seems to be a cat lover. Hell, after you beat the game, there's a side mission where you can get a cat suit or, no, not a cat suit, a suit that allows you to carry around this cat that Spider-Man calls Spider-Cat. Like, after you save him, um, after you beat the game, you can take him along with you. Oh my god, this was just... It, it turned into my type of game. But I'm just gonna have to go with my instincts here and just give it a 4 out of 5, okay? I was thinking about, after I was playing it, while I was playing it, I was all like, I could've give it a little bit higher, but no, 
I, I have to give it a 4 out of 5, just because it's not as lengthy, but uh, there is still a lot to love about this game, okay? So, I recommend, uh, if you're still not too sure, we'll wait till the game goes on sale, but uh, for me, if you're a big fan of the first game, then you might enjoy this, but uh, some might just say that this is like DLC or something, even though it really isn't, but uh, hey, for a launch title for the PS5, I can say uh, it was definitely great for that. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Word out.